These workers say that the district is dangerously short staffed with paraeducators, food service workers, and classified workers. Plus, they are fighting for a livable wage. Lawrence High School cafeteria workers are fed up. They say they are underpaid and understaffed. But we deserve a living wage. You know, I mean, we have families. Yeah, mine are all grown up, but my husband passed away. I'm on my own, honey. <laughs> it's tough. Tana Ennis, who is a food service worker, said right now there should be between 20 to 22 workers in the kitchen, but there's only about six people. When we look at our numbers, um, it doesn't exactly match up with what the district's saying, but our numbers, it seems like we're about 150 staff down from before COVID. According to the PAL CWA union president, the starting wage for food service workers sits at $10.91 to 1180 and for food managers between 1227 and 1327. We have several hundred of our workers, our paraeducators, our food service workers, our custodians, our secretaries, our library and media assistants that are making below 1350 an hour. The district spokesperson declined to go on camera over Thursday's rally, but sent an email saying their board of education and administration are committed to improving salaries. The spokesperson said the BOE approved $6.4 million in cuts to staffing and programming last spring. This reallocated $1.9 million to improve staff salaries. But the union's president said it is not enough. There are workers who are practically homeless or struggling just to provide for their own families. You could go almost anywhere else in town and find better wages than what the school district is paying. The district has used pandemic funds to pay for retention payments to certified and classified staff. Plus, the district provides free preschool for classified staff. Monica Castro, Fox 4, working for you.